Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Quicksell's Warfare Suite QS. Make sweet, sweet warfare with Warfare Suite QS. Alright, well after the last episode, we took a bunch of damage. It was a good fight, but it was a bunch of damage. So I had to get things um, basically refit, reset out. We're quite a few days past where we said we were going to be. Uh, I got the Centurion up and running. Like I got everything working, I think across the board with pretty good loadouts. So let's go to the mech bay really quickly here. So the Panther, the only thing that changed on the Panther was I pulled off of um, it the fire control system ballistic because I wanted to shift that over the Centurion, which we did. We'll sh I'll show you the Centurion in a second. The Storm Crow, we lost basically one side on this. Not the whole side, but enough to make me rethink the loadout. So this is the new loadout for this guy. And I, I, I'm actually... The more I look at it, this the more I kind of like it. So we got the fire control system predator in here for the long range. Um, I was going to leave that in the centurion, and I thought, no, we'll go with the ballistic in the centurion. This one's got a lot of long range firepower with the two light PPCs and the AC5. We've got a pair of medium lasers, mine dispenser, and a tag just to kind of round things out when we're in a little closer. We can use these guys up. Got a warfare suite QS in here because. Quick sell. Why else wouldn't you? What else would you put in there besides a warfare sweet QS? That plus we have a whole bunch of these, so I figured I'd use that. Got the advanced zoom mark two, which has got us covered 810 meters, which is more than enough for these guys. Uh, 720 for that. AC5 is like what 720. So it's got us covered. We got the Thunderbolt two pack. This is the only thing that's not covered all the way, but you know, at a range of 750 meters, we're we're good to go. So yeah, that's this loadout. I'm kind of liking this. We need to get more headgear. Not much I can do about that, but, um, you know, it's not a bad compromise. I think the SRM loadout was nice with the Infernos and stuff, but I think this is going to start applying some long-range uh, punishment. I think I think part of the issue I've, I've been having with the mechs is we've got a lot of close-range firepower, and I've been playing more longer-range stuff uh, in the past, where... Now we're kind of moving back a little bit to longer range. Hopefully we'll take less punishment, but we'll see what happens. That's that done. And then we got the Centurion, which was re replacement for the Clint. So let's have a look at this guy. This one turned out pretty well as well. So we've increased our weight by 10 tons, which is nice. Almost maxed armor out, or maxed armor. Got a light engine in here, 240 core, which gives us 5.8 movement. It's pretty good for a 50 ton max, not too bad, or a 5.7 movement anyway. We got the AC5 put in here. I was hoping to have a pirate AC5, but we don't, so this is fine. And then we got the uh, precision ammo, which only gives us 13 rounds, which I think should probably be fine. We have a bonus range, plus 30 to all range brackets, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm worried about that plus 30 in um, the close range for this guy, so it's minimum of 90, so it might be a minimum of 120. So I got to worry about that. I, I, we'll check that when we get into to the match. I'm not 100% sure on it, but we'll find out soon enough. Thunderbolt 2-pack, Advanced Zoom Mark II, works with those weapons really well. We've got the two medium X pulses in here and the center torso. I had nowhere else to put them, obviously, but put them both in there. So that's all the stuff that's moved over. Now we've got the ballistic accuracy here. So our AC-5 is going to be landing quite a bit, I think, with the precision ammo. The fact that it's mounted in the arm, we've got the arm recoil reduction here, plus one accuracy for the arm mounted weapons as well, uh, plus two for the ballistic. So hopefully that'll work out really well. And the comm suite and the sensors came from the Clint, so that's those. Then we got we we're able to add this stuff here. So we got four LRM5 quick cells in here. Now they're all minus three to attacks. I know I was saying before that we might want to go with the Artemis system and you know some kind of like Artemis ammo or whatever to kind of give them a bonus to hit. But there's been a few comments that made me re rethink some what we can do with these. So this is great for thunder munitions because you don't want to hit your target. You want to splash all the way around them. So that's good. These are good for thunder munitions. The fact that we can stack four of them is great. We do have some LK ammo in case we do need to hit. We kind of got a little bit of a bonus. But we have we don't have a lot of ammo for this, so it's kind of limited what I can put in here. But we do have LRM sensors. We have LRM mag pulse and LRM incendiary. And it's kind of nice because we have an L, basically an LRM 20 with slightly less chance to hit. And a variety of weapons for four tons, or a variety of ammo types for four tons plus the ammo, right? So we can fire like each one can fire a different different uh, bit of ammo off, and we're we're targeting our enemies. I think it's I'm hoping it's going to be really versatile. I'm interested to see how it works out. 
if it works out great, then I'll seriously consider this this kind of loadout for for later on. If we can find an, another LRM5 quick sell, I'll, re I'll replace the Rocket 10 with that. This is only a half a ton, but I'm sure we can squeak out half a ton somewhere else in this mech. Or just find, like, uh, um, well, I guess we've only got one slot. That's the only slot left, so we'd have to, we'd have to find a half ton somewhere. But yeah, so um, the heat efficiency, it looks like it's down a little bit, but that's with the rocket pack. The rocket pack doesn't fire. Like, that's five heat. Then we're under heat every turn, which is nice, right? So it's five. Yeah, so we're like 66 heat sinking with 63, 63 general alpha minus the rocket pack. This is just because I couldn't find anything else to put in here. I figured we might as well give it a little extra punch if we need it for a turn. So we got it. So once again, a little bit more firepower than the Clint. A little bit more survivability than the Clint. Uh, we've got some good long range stuff here. So hopefully that works out. And then the stealth I actually changed. This mech has been the same since we got it. Like I haven't done anything to this mech at all. But well, with the exception of putting the, uh, the enhanced zoom in the head. So we still got the advanced zoom Mark III, which... Definitely is going to help with this mech now. We've got a double plus exchanger in here to keep our heat down because our heat sinking, we needed it. We're at 6960 now, which is good. I pulled out the streaks and went with an MML5. And we ended up with half a ton of um, LRM chaff ammo and half a ton of SRM ammo. Once we get better ammo, I'll swap these out. We'll go with Inferno or whatever else. We'll put something else in there. But this gives it a little bit longer range firepower. And as I was saying before, our streak really wasn't hitting as much as I would like to have it hit. And with this kind of being a medium range build, I wanted to try and, you know, do something that was going to make things a little bit more effective. So with that being reduced here, we saved like a ton and a half or something like that. And what else did I do? I pulled out, we had something else in here. Uh, do we have a warfare suite or something in here? I can't remember what it was now. Maybe it was just that. Oh, you know what it was? I add the ferro fibrous. We were short ferro on this thing. So I add the ferro fibrous armor, which gave us a bit of uh, weight. And I was able to take out one of the ER mediums and replace it with an ER large laser. So that's kind of a bonus because we still got the tag on the CT. Uh, searchlight, multi-track. I keep forgetting we have the multi-track on this mech, but there really hasn't been any instances where we can really use this. It's funny, now that I've been playing Rotec for so long without having the ability to multi-target, that... I don't really think about using it. I don't really miss it all, all that much. There's been a few times when, like, like a scant few times that I wish I had to be able to fire at multiple targets. But for the most part, I really haven't needed it. So it's not a big deal. But that ER large um, is definitely a, a, you know, increase of overall, like, long range damage. And the MML5, well, it's, you know, reduced, slightly reduced damage. I think the ER large kind of makes up for that, no problem. So, yeah, that's it. That's it for the mechs. I think we've got a pretty good loadout now with what we have. So um, you notice we have 834,000. I was actually down to like 30,000 in C-Bills, something like that. So I had, ended up having to go sell a bunch of parts from mech base storage. Uh, I didn't sell anything that we could assemble. I just sold a lot of the old Junker parts and a lot of the vehicle parts from down here. It was like, like uh, some copter parts, a bunch of other stuff that I was able to get, you know, a fair bit of money back for. Uh, I don't think... No, I don't think I, I... I thought I maybe I had assembled a mech and trash it, but I don't think I did. There was like flea parts down here and commando parts. Not commando, but flea. There was some copters, a couple vehicles. Yeah, I just trashed all those. But we're definitely keeping all the quick sell stuff for sure. Anyway, so I was able to get 800,000. So if something bad happens on this mission and we we end up you know in, uh, in a bit of a pickle, we'll have our financial report anyway. Just wanted to make sure of that because we're five days away from that. So anyway, shouldn't be a big deal because in the command center, we don't really have a lot that we can take. There's a target acquisition. I thought about it, but for the first um, run through of this lance, I want to see how it performs first. So we're going to go right with this one. It's a one skull. We should be okay on this. Um, basically, we're going up against pirates on this. There's a mercenary lance that we uh, for pirates that we need to, or sorry, there's a pirate lance here that's operating in the region we need to re remove. So there could be a second lance, but we're going to go full salvage on this, obviously. We got the sea bills to make our financial report. Let's bring everything down. There we go. And do we not have, oh, right, because the Clint is not there. So you go there, you go there, you come back, you come back, bring you down. And where are you, buddy? Nuke, let's nuke him. Oh, wait, uh, right, Junkers, 
Yeah, that's right. All right, let's do this. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. I was just thinking what... Uh, let's get set up here and I'll tell you what I was thinking on the way in. I was just thinking to build for the... Ah, uh, oh, crap, another map like this. Another... Uh, uh, another a uh, quick sell LRM5 build, which would be kind of cool. But uh, so it looks like we've only got the one lance on this map. Mm -hmm. Let's play for somewhere different this time. We want to come up the road here. Let's yeah. I mean, we've played on this map quite a quite a bit now. I got to get out this planet. That's what it is. Put the vehicles here. So what I was thinking is an LRM5 build. If you could get like a clan map, like the Stormcrow would kind of be a perfect mech for this. Well, maybe not because it doesn't really have a lot of uh, weight that you could add onto it. But you could fill the thing with LRMs. LRM5 quick cells. What do we got here? Ooh, Kit Fox Pirate. Ooh, okay. You could fill the thing with LRM5s. Put a fire control system multi-track on it. And then just fill it with a wide variety of LRM ammo and use it as a support mech. Because you could just boat like L like ridiculous numbers of LRMs. I know they're all fives, but think about it. Like if you put ten tons of LRMs LRMs on there, let's say I can't remember how much heat they put out each, but if you put ten if you put ten of them on there, right? That's an LRM fifty for ten tons. Like where else are you going to get that? If you think about it. It's like two and a half times the, no the number of LRMs you would get from a normal LRM Intersphere 20 launcher. Of course, you need a hell of a lot of ammo. The rest of it would be ammo and then heat sinks, right? But you could split that ammo up, like Order. some of it incendiary, like some of it, like all different kinds of stuff you could add to it. I think I want to push this guy real fast here. Mm, or do we? Rocket Pack 5, Rotary 2. Small pirate lasers. Do I want to go... Mm, I think if I do it... If I'm going to push him. I'm going to pull into here. Which is, I think might be a little bit more protected from the hill. Because we're definitely going to have a guy in the hill. What's this guy? Urban mech? R20. It really is a mixed bag with pirates. You never know what you're going to get. Whitworth. So LRMs. I'm going to use the chaff on him. Make it harder for him to hit. Fire. Oh, somebody's got an AMS. All right. It's probably in the description. I didn't read it, but you know, Let's do this. that's just how I roll. Nope, not you. Orders. It's me. E. Uh, do we go? Gonna go here for. I don't know what reason. Puts me in the open, but we get, at least we get a shot off at this guy. Yeah, I mean, the mech on the hill will probably be able to see me, but I think we're probably pretty good. Oh, yeah, and uh, once again, thank you for... Uh, crap, can't remember who said it now. Uh, I believe it was Richard. Um, putting the combat shotgun last, because if you open up the mech, the, the cluster has a better chance to crit, which makes a hell of a lot of sense, so i got to keep remembering to do that. It's actually a really good uh, point. Good to go. Good to go. i got to speed up here. Let's move. If you want to be effective, we got to get up here as fast as possible, so... We'll use this fire truck as our overheater from now on. I mean, it's not too, too bad. I mean, I joke about the fire truck multiple times in the past, but as long as it can get close and actually hit, it's not too bad. Oh, you're running. You know what it is? He saw the quick sell panther and he's like, nope, I'm not getting any of that. Yes, command. Don't want any of that. Roger that. Full speed. Okay, we're going to stay on the Kit Fox. Warfare Suite QS protected, baby. Alright, let's go with... <laughs> Chances to hit. Fuck it, let's go one of each. 
<laughs> Why not? Just because we can. There's the sensors. Oh, we got a hit. Nice. It's actually not a bad spread for sensors. Oh, what was that? Something up there. Waiting for orders. It's vengeance. On it. Well, I was really hoping to use this road and cover more, but it's not turning out that way. Yeah, that's it for you. That's it for you. I think we'll just push these guys hard. If this goes quick, we'll, we'll take another mission right after. Here comes the missiles. The wow, really against the galleon, huh? I'm receiving you. I'm actually really shocked that we haven't lost this thing completely already. I mean, we we rebuilt it once. I'm sure we'll do that again. I think I got another. I think I got galleon parts still. And yeah, nothing up there. Okay. Yeah, man. Give me them sensors. Kid Fox first, probably. Yep. Coming back, are you? That's a mistake. Oh, that really oh, for hurt. Light damage. Holding firm. Damage. Minimal. It's me E. So the rotary is on that arm, I believe. I don't want to destroy the rotary if I can if I can at all avoid that. Actually not too bad. Let's get up here. Roger that. Well, we got moderate speed on the Panther. What do we got up here? Commando 2I. Couple missiles. Our best SRMs, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Now let's see how you handle this. Meh. Minor amounts of damage. It's fine. What's up, Commander? Alright, buddy, I want to see how your mech works. Too bad we have to plow this guy from the side, but we'll do that. Post enough. All right, what are we looking at for chances to hit with the LRMs? Not actually too bad. 18%. We switch to LK. It's like... I mean, it's not too bad. The X pulses are 29% at this range. So the minus 3 isn't giving us too, too much here. AC5 is nice, though. 65%. All right, let's switch these to um, a pair of them to EMP, and we'll go the rest to LK. Roger that. Ooh, nice AC hit, of course. X pulse looks like a hit as well. Eh, a little bit of a heat impaired. It has identified the real threat in the battlefield. Systems holding. However, I'm sporting the Warfare Suite QS, so it's not going to hit me, right? Oh, well, he might hit me every once in a while, but Waiting for orders. not too bad. We've got four activations remaining. I'm going to push this a little bit, I think. Take one turn, and we're going to blast this guy. We'll walk it up here. Warfare Suite QS protected there, so uh, we're good. AC5. Yeah, I think the AC5 we're in too close now. Oh, that's with the other mech, though. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just fire it all. Firing on target. Well, see ya. Tango down. That was short-lived. Mm. Let's give the commando something to shoot at. Full throttle. Let's just give him something to shoot at. And we'll move up the other mech as well. Orders. You... R20's got what? Oh, yeah. He has to go, like, as soon as possible. Let's move over here. Mm, yeah. I copy. Urban Mech's got to go through trees, so I think next turn we're all in a position to kind of just like go after him. I'm going to keep on the chaff. Ooh, nice. Large laser hit. 
A little bit of chaff. Nope. Just target a, a, target a acquired. Fuck, if I drive you in there... I'm going to do this, and here's why. I have a feeling that that, that uh, urban mech will go after this guy. And with six chevrons of evasion plus being in the trees, we might be able to absorb all those rockets. He's going on nine. I'm going to reserve back to find out what he does. Because that's a knockout punch for a lot of us. If he gets a good chance to hit... The rocket, the four, uh, four rocket pack 20s is a knockout punch for somebody. Roger that. Holding. Yep, Warfare Suite protected, baby. Damage minimal. It's because you're protected by the Warfare Suite QS. Waiting for the right move. And yeah, back. this is still this is kind of risky, but I don't think even if we all move before him and try to take a shot at him, I don't think we can kill him. I'll go down to the fire truck instead. But that's the best scenario. Offer him up some fresh meat, and then let's finish him up. Yeah, his missile packs are gone now, so don't have to worry about him. Get up to here. Confirm. Get inside the LRM range and then... 29. Ooh, that's pretty nice. We'll take that shot. Excellent. Waiting for orders. Their pretty much chance to kill us, I think, is gone. I don't think that commando's got rockets. I think that's he's got uh, SRMs. Could be wrong though. Should probably check. Close enough? Yeah, a pair of SRM fours and fluid gun. Which is not working. Um let's go with SRMs. Let's Roger. kill this guy. Miss with the big one. Something I can do. It's never good when you miss with the big one. Can you get oh you can get a shot at him from there though. Not from there. From here. Let's take that Hang shot. Just barely we can get a shot at him. Not too bad. We're going to keep with that loadout. Target acquired. Nice. Okay. Yes, Commander. Three activations remaining. You can just sit still for a second. Standing by. You're really not being threatened by anybody, so I'm not that worried about her. Sitting still right where she is. They've got more to worry about than her. they got more to worry about than her. Alright, let's see if we can open some stuff up here. Nice. Got past the armor. Get into here. Not going with the better chance to hit, going with the protection. It's actually not bad. Ooh, that's, that's actually pretty good. Go to five, fire. Alright, a couple points. At least he's standing in fire, not that it matters. Alright, well, let's uh... Work on acquiring a kill here. Not too bad. All right. On it. That hit something good. It's got small chem lasers. This guy goes on fourteen. Perfect.
Must be trying to cool off. Minimal damage. Somebody made the comment that uh, the uh, enemy mechs are um, much better at heat management now. And I, I would agree. There are there's, there are, there have been multiple times when I thought they would just keep firing, and they they don't fire. They barely fire anything to drop heat. I think it's great. Uh, I mean, that one battle we had with the hunchback down here that was trying kept trying to drop heat. I mean, he couldn't fire because if he did, he would overheat. But I mean, coordinates received. The battles have been actually quite good, so... Go up to this guy. Copy that, Commander. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, they've been doing a really good job of like, heat management, which is awesome. If we could just solve those dead vehicles driving out into the middle of nowhere problem... Yes, Commander. That would be awesome. Let's actually yes, I'm there. bake this uh, Whitworth if we can. I think I'm in a wrong... I moved to the wrong spot here. Damn. Oh well. All weapons are go. That's actually not bad. I like that. Orders. Just hold on, Wait kiddo. We shall finish this up. Hmm. All right, let's go here. We're going to go against the urban mech. I want him out of here. We might be able to get the Whitworth to bail if we can keep it hot. Got it, Commander. Someone let me borrow their pom-poms and skirt because I'm damn excited now. What did he just say? That's the first time I've ever heard that. Something about pom-poms and a skirt because he's damn excited? What the hell? That's the first time I've ever heard that one. Literally, that's like the best voice in the game, I gotta say. Alright, let's uh, target somebody hard to hit here. I don't want to hit the uh, fire truck, so we're gonna go after this guy. Thunderbolt pack on, rocket pack on. Uh, let's just go damage. And we're gonna hammer this guy. Yes! Ooh! Brutal! Some have a down. seat, my friend. Probably have a seat. Gone. I'm ready. It's me. E. Let's get. I'm moving too close. No, we want to try and keep the Whitworth hot. Let's get over here. I gotta try and kill this guy. Let's get him out of the game. As much as this is kind of stealing a kill, it's not really, because I need to keep myself moving here. Let's go after the leg. Firing all weapons. Wow. Orders. Orders. Alright, that's a bit better position. Yeah, like the, this is great. Uh, let's switch this to... EMP and incendiary, I think. Let's go that route. Acknowledged. Solid connection on that one. Not bailing out, huh? All rims are gone. Not gonna bail out, are you? All right. Well, let's apply some more damage to this urban mechs. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. There you go. Target neutralized. Okay. Yes, boss. All right, Goose. Um, let's get you moving. Get a back shot in this Whitworth. See if we can make him sweat a little bit. Burn him up. Hit him with some machine guns. Nice. Come on, bail out, buddy. Target. We got a knockdown. Bleeding out. Health two or three. Uh. Forty six. Let's see if we can end this relatively early here. How much damage does this thing? Oh, it's got seventy eight in the leg. It's actually pretty well armored for a uh, Whitworth. What about the other guy? 
Wait, what? Come on, tab. What the hell? Why does it keep targeting the same guy when I tab? I could get a kill on this thing if we get the leg. Let's take a shot at it. Roger that. Nope. Panicking though. Stand in by. Oh, we did hit the leg. Roger. There we go. That's a kill. That is a kill. What you got, baby? What you got? Nice. Mission successful. Well, not really a good test of the lance, but at least we get a chance to see what kind of uh, weapon systems are got, what kind of range, and what what we can do with them. So it wasn't too bad. We do have a pilot down now, though. Uh, yeah, Kit Fox parts, I think. Bolt-on AMS. Oh, call advanced small cockpit. Tonnage zero. Okay. So that doesn't affect anything other than Reducing the tonnage for a small cockpit. That's actually not bad. Compact heat sinks. XL gyro, though. Hmm. Light ferro, night vision, which we don't need. Primitive sensors, regular LRM ammo. They actually weren't too badly loaded out here. I'm going to grab this gyro. Although this is really nice, too. And we rarely ever see that. Okay, let's grab the three Kit Fox pieces. The bolt-on AMS would be nice, but I don't have room for it in anything right now. But that small cockpit. Where is it? There it is. So. They get a crit on this thing, it kills the pilot. But if they get a head hit anyway, it could be... Pretty much a death for the pilot anyway. But that's the same for any cockpit though, isn't it? Yeah, pilot, you have to destroy this. So that just gives me one ton of weight on something. Ooh, that's actually really nice. All right, well, we'll hang on to that. All right, what do we get? Whitworth part, commando part, a couple of LRM-10, small laser pirate, 13 heat, eh? a lot of heat for one weapon. It adds one heat damage. Oh, it's a triple shot. Recoil a two. So this is a small laser or a small pulse laser? Multi-shot lasers fire a barrage of beams. So it's firing three beams. All right, that's kind of interesting. SRM-4 we'll hang on to. Basic cockpit we'll hang on to for now because we oh, we already actually have one. I'll have to get rid of that one. 60 core we don't need. I saw all, sold all of our cores below 200, I think, because I don't think we're going to really need need them because the lighter mechs that we're going to use are all going to be quick sell and they've all got cores built in. So we don't need any of these guys. It's just the other ones we're going to need for the heavier mechs. All right, so we made a bunch of C-bills off that. That's not too bad. All right, 16.6 in repairs, which is really nothing. So we've got one pilot down. How fast can we get back our mechs with, let's say, the exception of the Stormcrow? A couple of days. Let's just get our guys back here. One, two, three. That work order you submitted is complete. Oh, it's already done? Oh, okay, so we, she's injured for 13 days. So did we get another good mission? Not really. This one is a single heavy air asset. You know what? Let's go with this one. Let's just take this. Because we can do it before the end of the month. We'll make some money and we'll replace the Stormcrow. Because Vengeance is down anyway, right? So we might as well give it a shot. Let's do this. 
I hope we don't die. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. One skull can't be too bad, right? Right. Right there in the open. This reminds me of my childhood, back on the farm. All right. They gonna get reinforcements from down here? Probably not. Well, they might. So let's do this as this map is normally meant to be played. Let's start up here. Uh, maybe a little closer, like right here. And that way we can just get in right away. Alright, looks like we might have some half decent, uh... Phoenix, Wolverine, ooh nice, 3R, Icarus, 1X, Phoenix, KL, hmm, interesting, I have no idea what that is. Wolverine 3R we know, they might have, oh, what do they got over here? Auto gun technical, well, Receiving you. Goose, you cannot actually hit anything from there. So let's get down here. Roger that. Get yourself you nice run. and hidden. Well, kind of hidden behind the rocks and everything. Not bad. Yeah, they got another. They got more guys back there. They will be done. We gotta pull some mechs down fast. Let's get on that. QS Panther style, baby. QS Panther style. Bring you down to the bottom. Ooh, baby. Not bad damage. I gotta get another Rex laser to replace that medium pulse. I'm here. So what do we got? TBM 30. Wow. Some quad pods. ER medium pirates. That's actually some pretty good damage output there. Only got six rounds to the TBM-30 though. What is t times three? It fires three shots? That's... Okay, we got faint ammo, standard ammo, high explosive ammo, kinetic ammo, thermo ammo. Oh, wow. No guided, huh? How far can you go? I'm gonna go Phantom Mech to start. Well, let's get down to here to see what we can way. shoot at. Double time. Gonna head over this way a little bit, I think. 10%. 10%, but we've got more shots on this guy, so let's just take a shot at this guy. Ooh, we hit too. Maybe that'll scare him. Ooh, nice shot, man. Props Damn to the Phoenix the pilot. Commander. So that's got to be a newer version of the Phoenix. So you're a fire support. Let's get you up here. Consider it done. I wonder if I should go after this auto gun technical. Try and clear out my side. I can't even hit this guy, really. If we get lucky, we can kill him, though. Light rotary rifle. But I think this guy has decided that he wants to die, so let's let him die. I'm going to use the LK on him. Try and get as much damage off the top here as we can get. And uh, I think that's probably pretty good with the Thunderbolt pack, too, so let's give that a shot. Maybe we can get a kill here before the uh, second turn. There we go. Core meltdown, baby. Tangled down. Loving this Centurion, gotta say. Now all we have to do is find a quick sell version of that thing. Ooh. A shot. They got some accuracy, I'll give them that. Well, they landed one shot. Light damage, Commander. 
receiving you. Let's give this uh, vehicle a shot here again. See if we can kill this thing. Uh, we'll leave the chaff on, of course. Firing. Ooh, medium laser hit. Nice. Couple chaff shots hit. Nice. Plus one to hit for a couple turns. Never hurt anybody, except for the person that you hit. Let's get over here. Get some evasion going. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, they got something back there. Oh, there's a commando. 2J? What does a J have? No idea. What's up, commando? Find out sooner or later. Okay, let's get down in here. Get, drop some uh, instability, get in the trees. I think the Phoenix might be our next target here. 70 on the Wolverine, but more of us are going to be able to shoot this guy. We have a better chance. Leave this off for now. Do we get a better chance to hit? Going to go with the LK. Don't really want Phoenix parts. Nice. Okay, he was jammed. Yes, boss. Can you... You can't even get very close, can you? Ooh, you can kind of get a little closer this way. Let's go this way. If I want you in the battle, you're going to have to really push. Oh, really? They're heading your way. Funny, I just detected those a little while ago. I don't know why you haven't. Oh, you're not even moving. Idiot. Standing by. Uh, that Wolverine didn't move. How about, uh, want to give him a pasting? Oh, there's another guy back there. J. Edgar. The one. Same. What kind of armor are we looking at here? We're relatively good. Let's give it a... I mean, if we were up against it, more... more um, adept opponents, I would worry about it. But I think we're pretty good here. Uh, we want to go standard or we want to go with faint, explosive, kinetic. Let's fire three, because why not? Welcome to my album. Oh, Jesus Christ. i got to get one of those things. Good. J. Edgar, J. Edgar, in case Wait of emergency. Can we get a shot at that... Uh, can't, eh? Alright, fair enough. Um, let's get down here, though. Copy that. that rotary vehicle is going to get a shot off next turn. I might be able to get the galleon over to get a shot at him, though. Um, what is our SRM's out of range, anyway? Alright. Nice. Yes. He's out cold. Boom! How you like me now? Yep, liking the new loadouts. Gotta say. Commander? Liking the new loadouts. Ooh. We'll take that shot. On the way. Double time. We'll take that shot, since that's all we can get. So he's damaged on the side that we're shooting at, I think. Firm. Oof. Nice damage. Rex laser hit. Low I'm percentage here. chances. Gotta love that. Because if you don't love it, well, you're just a quick sell hater. Alright, let's go out to this guy. Ten four. Need to get you some Rex lasers. <laughs> Come on. 
Come on. Who's doing what? I know they got another vehicle back there. Wait, what turn is it? 19. Jagger's trying to decide what to do. It's either him or him. Probably this guy. He's like, do I rush out there? We're down two max already. I think we got Wolverine parts too. Yeah, he's gonna do it. He's hovered though, so he can get across this water pretty damn easy. Hey, buddy. Sure. Thanks for showing up. He's just gonna stand where you were. Right here. Okay, get down here. Now. Take a shot at that Wolverine, crop our instability. Good chances we're gonna take that one as well. I'm gonna put the rockets on. If we can get a kill on this Wolverine, that'd be nice. But I think, yeah, we'll go this route, I think. Go with the LKs. I'm actually quite impressed that we've got, we're have got we getting 44% chance to hit with those, at being minus three to hit. Critical hit, Commander. I, I really am, I gotta say. I've got multiple weapons with no ammo. Hey, did you sprint or did you walk? Ooh, nice shot. That guy's accurate with that AC. Waiting for orders. Alright, Spliff. Let's see if we can clean up some of our backside back I'm here. Going. I could go after the Wolverine, but I don't like the fact that we got two guys behind us now. Um gonna go to high explosive. Because we got two vehicles there. We're we'll gonna fire all this. Oh man, the damage! Tango down. That TBM thirty pirate is ridiculous. What's up, boss? Okay. We're gonna go here. Stay on dry Double land. Time. Let's go. Water helps us with heat, but we're not worried. We're really worried about heat. Uh, can we use the SRMs? We can. Let's use that. Try to take that arm. I think he's got a medium laser in that arm, doesn't he? Nope. That hit something good. Wait, what has he got? Where's the medium laser? AC. I think the SRM is here. It, I might be in the head. Waiting for I can't order. remember where it is now. Man, it's been so long since I've played tabletop too. One of these days I'm hoping to get back to it. I'm uh, very close to going on to uh, medication for my ADHD which might actually help me do stuff. Reporting. Critical hit. So hopefully if I can get that sorted, I can get actually friggin' my attic sorted out and get a play table built. Commander? To be able to do some stuff. But we'll see. It, it might not even help, who knows. Alright, firing. This should be good. Nice. Everybody's performing well today, I gotta like that. Scarred a critical hit. Alright, Jenkins. Yes, Commander. It's you. Ooh, wow, you can't even... Oh, you're up on a hill. Well, that's no good. Let's go here. Bring the guy just into range. I thought I could get down that hill there, but... I'm an idiot. Alright, good chances to hit. Yeah, you're like this. Nice. Ooh, I thought we were going to get him there for a second. Well, I'm ready. might not have gotten him that turn, but... Uh, on the move. Let's go after him this turn. Just block everybody else so I can get in and get that last shot. <laughs> get the hits, get the crits, baby. There's the knockdown, too. Quick sell, increase your knockdown chances. Uh, let's get nuke on this guy. Let's go here for now. 
Because I want to try and plink his head, I think. He's down to one, right? We're going to go for a headshot. Um, let's not wreck him. But let's switch this. To sensor. Target acquired. No hits, eh? Not gonna bail out? Alright. Well, we had to try. Had to try. Let's get over here. Because if we miss this vehicle, we might hit him. Alright, going after this guy. J. Edgar Ice, eh? Alright, firing. Tag missed. A couple of SRMs hit, though. Not bad. Got to figure out what kind of ammo I want to load in that thing. I just got a one MML5. The chaff's nice for the long range. I live to serve. Let's just go after this vehicle again. Twenty-one with high explosive. What else do we have? Eighteen. Twenty-one with thermo. Wait, how much does thermo do? 28 times 3. High explosive just needs to get close though. So let's go with that. DBM 30, man. Too bad I can't take this vehicle. Should just. It's the local government. Should just like not return it. <laughs> just not return it. Alright, firing at this guy. Ooh, hit with one of the flamers. Nice. Not bad. Oh, we got a Venom left, I think. This guy's going, though. I wonder where he's going to... He's probably going to take off down here. I really hope they don't try to flee the battlefield. Like, I like the idea of them fleeing the battlefield. If they could leave the battlefield. You know what I mean? Gives them a reason to run. And I get that. And it's like... And if you have one of those things where you want to... Like, com you know, completely destroy the lance. You gotta chase him down before he leaves the battlefield. But the, the fact that he can't go anywhere is just annoying. Because if I, I can, I'm only playing on a 33% increased battlefield size. If you're playing on like 100% increased, I could only imagine if the vehicle took off on you and then you had to spend like, you know, 20 minutes of real time chasing down one vehicle that you then proceed to kill in like, you know, 30 seconds or something. It would be frustrating. But still, though, like, even with all its little little uh, nuances or flaws like that, I don't really see it as a flaw, but with all those little bits and pieces, I'd still rather play Rogue Tech than anything else. So this guy's up next. What do we have back here in the last... Cloudbuster, large laser. Ooh, that's not a bad vehicle. Yeah, you better run. I think we have J. Edgar parts as well. Yes, be nice Commander. to be able to get a J, pick up a J. Edgar as well. This Hi. is a backup vehicle. Because all we got right now is like cargo trucks and stuff. Now, um, 72. One in the leg. If we torso him, he dies. Pretty sure. But I don't want to do that. I'm going to try and... Well, let's go with all. Just do it. Damn it. We got the torso. Fine. Oh, he doesn't die. He's got one of three left. He's a stick, though, now, isn't he? Yeah, he's a stick. Although, I think he's got a medium laser in his head. Ooh, nice shot. Stop. You're just embarrassing yourself. Ooh, that guy couldn't get up. Orders? Ooh, do this first. Not that it matters, but try and keep him alive as long as possible. All right, we uh, used up all of our high explosives, so that's not good. Where is our cloudbuster? Standard faint. I don't. He doesn't have an um, AMS. Let's go K 
kinetic maybe? Thermo. This guy's got chonky armor. Chonky chonky. Let's go kinetic. Where is it? We'll fire three. Because we can. Locking target. Ooh, 90 points. Ooh. Good damage, baby. I've got multiple weapons with no ammo. That's all right. Good to go. You have performed your task admirably. Get up here. Double time. Let's go. I think the real threat is the, uh... 75. Guy's moving pretty quickly here. I don't want to waste my guns on that thing. I want to go after this guy, I think. So let's switch this to LK. 29 with incendiary, though. Ooh, let's go with the LK. Yes! Loving the Centurion. Mech destroyed. I'm glad I took that uh, ballistic out of the uh, the Panther. Okay, let's go here. Moving to position. Get some solid green tone on this vehicle. Get the counter jamming affecting these guys. Let's fire at him. Roger that. Mm. Not getting any good footage today, damn it. That's alright. You can't have good footage every day. I keep thinking, like every day it's like there's gonna be a point where it's just like and maybe for some people it's already gotten there where it's just like things are just getting so repetitive and redundant it's like Report an internal damage should really save yeah, those uh okay let's get to here let's see if we get lucky with the machine guns I'm gonna crank these to five though well, we caught him. Damn it. Well, he's down. Nothing worse than being machine gunned by a fire truck and dying because of it. He's he's living his life in... Well, he doesn't have a life now, I guess. It's got to be bad. You, you go to eject and your your cockpit just puts you straight out across the, the, uh, the floor of the lake here. Don't run. I don't want to chase your ass down. Yes, Commander. Okay, let's get this commando. Full speed. No target. Commando's the threat. A pair of SRMs. And here it comes. Targeting for an alpha. Alright, pretty good. Scored critical hit. I think the uh, trade-off was good with the uh, difference between the MMLs and the and the uh, the streaks. I like the fact that, like, the streaks are nice if you get nice, good, nice tone lock on people all the time. But if you're, if they're not firing a fair bit, I would rather have a weapon that was firing and at least hitting with one, maybe two missiles consistently, as opposed to just, like, hitting one big strike every, you know, two or three turns or whatever it ends up being. I think it just opens up more opportunities that way. These guys are going to run. You. Let's give it to this guy. Show him what we can give as good as we get. All weapons are good. Come on, dude, just bail out. Oh, he's going before us. Go 16. Oh, vehicle. Wait, we go before him. Is he coming back? He is. Good. Good. I'm your spaniel. You're my Jenkins. Take that shot. Away. At this range, the uh, the combat shotgun won't cluster, so it'll be a nice big hit here. Confirm. Ooh, brutal alpha strike. Commander. Come back around the front. Do way. the same thing. We can get more of a CT hit. I think here. I think most of that was CT last time. Yeah, it was. Let's just hammer him. Copy that. Ooh, freely. Oh, wait. Head hit, though. Alright, that's good. I'm receiving. I'm not complaining now. 
I mean, I am. I am, but I'm not. You know what I'm, you know what I mean. God, this thing's a, this thing's brutal. 18, 21, can't shoot. Wait, I can shoot, apparently. Oh, well, let me click. All right, can't shoot. We'll go with a better chance to hit. Let's just fire the standard. Fire all three. Taking the shot. Oof, two hits. That's impressive. Soften that guy up. Yeah, you run. You run. That could have been worse. Come on. Alien is hanging in there. All right, let's see what this thing can do. Let's burn this guy to a crisp. Do it, baby. Burn him. Gotcha. Well, there goes his weapons. Target. There goes him. Receiving you. Got to get over more. That's a little better. Speed, no Otherwise, I'm shooting right Got into the back of the Panther. All right. Uh, let's change this to two of them to sensor, two to incendiary. Let's do this. Wow, look at the spread, eh? I keep forgetting that these LRMs have that really wide spread. It's like 90 meters or something. So I guess if you were. I guess if you were looking at do, using thunder ammo with them, the minus three to hit is a bonus, but the increased spread means that you're spreading thunder ammo like in not not in a very big tight pack. So I guess if you're using it as an area denial weapon, it would be great as long as, long as you weren't planning on going over there. Yes, commander. But you're not going to get it your your stuff clustered in such a way that it's going to apply a lot of damage. We're open on the one side here. That's the right side, so we want to turn this way. Roger. Just gonna go for it from now on with these guys. Fire in all weapons. Nice. These guys are still fast though. Their speed seems to be increasing too. I wonder if there's something in the code. Because we usually start off slow as well. And as the battle progresses, our initiative seems to get a little higher. I think we're exposed on the other side now. I know what this guy does. Hopefully it brings him back. I think it is. Yeah. Damn. It's really hoping it would hold on. I await your command. Really hoping you would hold on there. Just one turn, buddy. The thing's only got so much armor. 38, 32. Go for the better chance to hit. Fire the last two of these. Locked on target. Nothing. All right. This isn't going on my permanent record, is it? It is. I'm out of long-range missiles. Everything goes on your permanent record, my friend. Especially when you miss. 22, same. Let's go after this guy. Engaging. All right. Yeah. Any damage at this point is good damage. Well, at least the Jed, J, the J Edgar is not in our way when we're shooting across here at these guys. So 44, this one should be, oh, it's not any better for the side strike. Although, that's the side that's facing us, so let's go after this guy. Let's go with LK. Garbage. Three hits. Alright. Good to go. Watch, this guy's gonna get another kill. He's gonna get another kill! Everybody doesn't take the elusive fire truck very seriously. 
There you go. Target neutralized. And that's why we bring the fire truck. Standing by. I mean, it's not the reason why we bring it. We bring it because it's an extra target, but still, I'm saying that's the reason why we bring the fire truck. That way, the guy doesn't feel bad about coming every time. All right, let's not miss. Got it. All right, cool. We didn't hit our own guy. He's tagged too. Beautiful. Let's do this. All right, where's the best place to hit? Side, side or back? Moving out. That guy's going right after you, so. Uh, Get the kill if you can. Yes! <laughs> so good! <laughs> Mech, destroy. Three kills. Mission successful. So I decided uh, as we were loading in here to the screen that uh, what I'm going to do is when we get back to the mech bay, um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, sell all of our mechs and then I'm going to go buy five more fire trucks. That should. Uh, <laughs> alleviate our problems let's forget it I'm taking I want the Wolverine parts man screw you all right so we got full cloud buster is there only one Wolverine part or is there more than one there's only one now we should have wait what do we not have any Wolverine parts yes we do we got the quick sell Wolverine ah oh, damn it so that's not going to help us Phoenix KL. So only got two hard points though. We take that. We got J. Edgar's here. Not bad armor. Medium laser and SM2. Although what we have is better. What's the ice? They're both medium laser, SRM2. What's this? Internal combustion engine. That's what the difference is. This is the fusion core. Yeah. Right, that would make sense. Well, let's grab the Cloudbuster, I think. Good armor, 4.6 movement speed. Good fire support vehicle. Let's have a look down here and see if there's anything we want. Light rotary rifle is a possibility. Not really that interested in it, though. A 240 core would be not bad. Ooh, XL engine. Fire control system, flak. Minus one recoil with ranged weapons, too. Ooh, we've got so many weapons that have recoil. Like, this might be really nice on the... Um... Oh, we got the Predator, though. I don't know where that would go. I was going to say it would work well in the Stormcrow, but it won't. Uh, we don't really need it on the uh, thing. I think we go this route. I'm going to sell that XL engine. I mean, I want C-bills. Not a double heat sink kit, but we've already got one still, so we're okay there. And nothing else really down here. No, I think this is the best route. We'll take, because we, now we have a hot decent vehicle. I might take out the, uh, well, we'll see. I'm going to bring it into the into play anyway. Just confirm that. All right, we've got another cargo truck, auto gun technical. Oh, that's interesting. Armor's not too bad in the front. It might be a half decent, like, mid range fighter. The like commando part, Icarus part, J. Edgar parts, not bad. Get rid of the, that core. The 180, let's hold on to the 180. That can go. We got the fire control system, flak, beautiful. More ferro, then a double heat sink. That can go. That can go. Light rate, si sable rounds, we'll hang on to that. And SRM ammo, we will hold on to it for now. Yeah, so that's actually not a bad rollout, considering what was there. Hey, we only got 8,000 in damages. Hopefully the galleon's not gone. Nope. Beautiful. Not that it matters, because we picked up a cloud buster. Let's bring it into play. Uh, so storage. Wow, these two mechs didn't take any damage at all. One day for repairs. Beautiful. I gotta get this hunchback going at some point. Now we've got some sea bills. We have a bit of leeway. There's the cloud buster there. So let's get that ready. Yep, beautiful. And then we got enough for some commandos down here, too. Got some scorpion parts. No, maybe we don't. I think I sold the commando parts, did I? I think I did, to make the money. Because we're I'm only interested in quick sell commandos. But I'll hold on to these ones just for now, because we may be able to assemble another one very shortly. 
Like we can assemble a cargo truck, but I'm not going to bother right now. All right, that's not too bad. We're getting there. So I'm going to jump, I think. Now we've got the C-bills. I'll hold off spending them, I think. And we're going to jump to a new system. I'm going to look for like a one and a half, two skull planet relatively close by. There's not a lot here, unfortunately, um, that I'm interested to go to. I've got to jump out of this area. It'd be nice, like this, the Marians have a fair bit of quick sell stuff, but it's just like the, uh, the planets here are such varied between really low skull worlds. I mean, that's not bad. Really low skull world and really high skull world. So it's hard to like, like if I could find a two skull planet, it would be perfect. Starting planets like three red. Two and a half is probably the best I'm going to get. Um, so we'll jump probably if I can find a half decent planet to jump to. Doesn't look like it. Not in the Marian hegemony. Uh, that's actually not that bad. Although it's kind of shitty here. So that's what, a jungle world? Uh, yeah, a tropical. Ooh, do I want to go to a tropical world or want to just go here? Niops. Is there anything good here? One and a half, probably 28 days away. Intersphere civil civilization. I'm looking for stuff that I can pick up in the uh, store too, right? Oh, actually, that's not bad right there. 25 days away. Perfect. There's our choice. So I'll wait the, I'll wait the day or so here. Um, we got three days. I'm going to wait, see what they have in the store. Uh, I missed out on a... Um, a tier three um, advanced optics suite. It was like 500 and something thousand. That was when I, 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 at the beginning of the month when I had no money. And then I went back later when we did have a little bit of money and it was gone. So I think it was because I had quit out and came back in uh, for the next mission um, or the next day's mission. And it disappeared from the store. So yeah, I kind of lost out on that. So I'm gonna wait the month, find out what's here in the store, then we'll jump. And then at the end of next month, um, we'll be at the next planet. Two skull missions. One and a half, two skull missions. I think our lance is there for that. And we've got some backup mechs, and we'll get the hunchback set up. I want to work on getting the junk leopard so we can get a second lance running. Plus, we're going to need more pilots too. So, But as far as that goes, engineering-wise, we've got our second uh, habitat pod now already anyway. So I might work on... What does the drive system give us? Cuts off jump time by 20%, or travel time to planet by 20%. 10 days. Helps a little bit. So this is what? 2.25. Can drop two additional battle armor if I wanted to. Plus one tech points. It's only a day though. I think what we should do is probably get another lance up and running before we buy that. We'll get two lances running first. I think we do that. Try and run a quick sell lance and then a normal lance or maybe 50-50 with each one. I haven't quite decided yet. We'll just figure out how that's going to work. But anyway, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and please go join the Go, go visit the Quick Sell site, and until next time, we'll see y'all later.